hello guys so in this video we'll be going over the setup of our react application so to start with the first thing we need is a text editor a place to type our code so i have used or i'll be using visual studio code and if you want to get that you can go over to code.visualstudio.com and that should load the visual studio page so you can download and install visual studio from here obviously you want to download the one for your operating system the other thing we'll be needing is node.js so if you don't have node.js installed go to node.js.org and download and install node.js now i recommend you download the one with the long term support currently it's version 10.16.3 so download and install node.js and we'll also be needing our command line or command prompt on windows you can just cmd go over to the search to the start screen and type cmd and use the command line here but i won't be using this one i'll be using cmd which is a console emulator for i think it's for, it's available on any platform of your choice so if, I, if, if, if we go to cmd.org i think mm, okay i don't think i got the address right so i'll just google it so google cmder short for commander okay cmda.net so this is the command line tool i'll be using it's just a portable console for windows okay just for windows and um okay i think that's all we need for now so let's start now to create a react application we'll be using create react app create react app simply bootstraps and makes uh, the creation of our react app seamless and easy so over in the command line I don't know if I mentioned, but this is not a beginner tutorial. So if you're not comfortable with HTML, CSS, and especially JavaScript, I recommend you go back and do some studies, but feel free to continue if you want to. Now I'm going to CD into my desktop because that's where I'll be creating the application. Now I'll use the, the command MPX, which comes when you install Node.js, create React app. Now, this is going to use create react app, which is a command line tool. And what react app do I want to create? I want to create quiz app. Try uh, try to avoid spaces in your folder and file names. So what this command is going to do is this, and I have pressed enter. So it's going to begin downloading and installing and creating a react application. Now what this create react app command does is right here on my desktop, it creates a react application called quiz app on my desktop so that's what's going on now so uh application is currently being created by create react app so our react application has been created now the next thing we want to do is to start up our application but before i do that let me mention this i'll be using yarn to install some packages so if you execute any command with yarn and you get an error, I recommend you install yarn globally on your computer using npm install yarn g. This will download and install yarn globally on your computer, but I won't do that because I already have yarn installed. So I will cd into the quiz app folder and run yarn start. Yarn start. And this will begin our react dev server and start our application for us so i guess we don't need this anymore we'll just close them down so it's starting up our application on localhost 3000 and if i open my console you can see starting the development server so now our application has loaded on the browser and you can see we have our react application here and it's currently it's currently running on localhost 3000 localhost port 3000 so i'll open my editor now let's take a look at the code that was the application that was created for us so i'll click file go to open folder and on my desktop which is where i have created the folder here's the quiz app folder so i'll just select that folder and to load that folder up in my editor so i won't really go over what most of all, all these files do here. We'll just get to them one after the other. So 
in our package.json file this is kind of like a config file for our application it's a json file with key value properties so this is obviously the name of our application and it's squeeze app it has the version number it has some dependencies for now it's just react react normal and react scripts so what i want to do is i'll go into the source folder and into app.js so we have this folder here and all these markup well this isn't this isn't markup per se it's jsx it's currently it's it's a way of writing markup using javascript so and jsx stands for javascript syntax extension so i'll just change this paragraph to hello from react now i have auto save enabled on my editor and if you want to do that just click file and make sure to check this option so it should save the moment i leave this window so going back to my browser now we can see we have hello from react so that's where this came from but most of this stuff that was created for us or some not most we won't be needing so i'll just get rid of them so to begin with i'll get rid of this header from this header all the way to the a tag and also the image now also not be needing this logo.svg import so i'll take that away and this is the css that comes with create react app but we'll not be using this css so i'll delete this file app.css also delete index.css and we'll delete app.test because we won't be testing this application here in this series and also delete logo.svg which is that logo we saw and the service worker.js file we won't be using service workers also now in index.js this is the entry point of our react application so i'll get to get rid of this service worker also and index.css we remove that so we should get rid of it here too and i think that's it let me just double check to see that there are no errors okay it's trying to import app.css which we no longer have so i'll take that one away and i mistakenly clicked my atom editor so it should come it should pop up in a sec here now i'm going to create in our source folder we'll create a folder called components that's where all our react components will go inside source i'll still create one more folder called styles this is where i'll be keeping our styles and another folder called assets not not file but folder new folder assets this will keep our images and files and other assets that we'll be using in our application so in styles i'll create a new file and call it styles.scss and i forgot to mention we'll be we won't be using regular css here we'll be using sas and i've not installed that so i just i think i'll just quickly install those other packages we'll be needing for now so to install a package you go yarn add we we'll need node sas we we'll need react helmets we we'll need react router dom we we'll need mdi slash font and materialize materialize dash css we we'll also need class names so these are the packages i can remember that we need for now so i'll just quickly hit enter to download and install all those packages now while this is installing i'll just write some css here um so i want to change the background color of my body element to red just to test that my styles are connecting now over in back in index.js i want to import this css this scss file or this style sheet file i have here so right before the app or import in quotes i want to look into the styles directory and get the styles dot scss file i hope this isn't confusing but what this does is from the directory where this index file is which is currently at this level 
I want to look into the styles file and get the styles.scss file. Not styles file, but styles folder. So from here, it goes into the styles folder and imports or brings in this styles.scss file right on line 3. So our packages have installed and I'll just yarn start one more time to begin our application again. And if I did everything right, we should have a red background in our application. So our app is starting up on localhost 3000. Let's just give it a sec to come up. So our application has loaded and as you can see, we still have hello from React and this time our background is red. So if I come here and I change it to blue, it should still work good. So now we know our styles are connect connecting properly. So I'll just get rid of that. We'll not be using a red background here. So in the next video, we'll be creating our first page and our first component for our application. So I hope you like this video and see you in the next one.